Well, good morning. Crossroads DT checking in Quartzsite, Arizona. And this is our first recorded sunset. Or, excuse me, sunrise. I'm waking up. 7.10 in the morning. Trying to get an edge of it here. And what a beautiful thing. And uh, we're just getting settled in here. Did a little shopping yesterday. Michael's getting settled in over there. Come on, camera, come back to us. I guess there's a little shock for this sun this morning. There we go. And, well, what's going on this morning? Teresa's been painting away over here. She, she's been in a painting mode for the last few days, and she's working on our propane tank over here. Got some cactus action going and some birds some clouds desert doing real good there and you got another scene going here on this whole tray table it was we've had it for years a couple of them getting them tuned up looking good nice little mountain scene and what else is going on well there's a nice view of this mountain in the back over here as the sun comes up, they get real pretty, and uh, they they really change every hour out here as the sun moves. Just a joyful way to start the day. And just coming alive in colors. Here's some that the sun's not hitting quite yet, and they're still a little gray. We're enjoying this wash over here where all this bush is going, giving us shade. And we hear the birds in there. And, and the traffic's moving around here, but we're far enough off the road and we're, we're upwind from the dust. So dust tends to go on the other side. They've been grading the entryway and packing it down and watering it. Really making it good and compact. But this is a, I think this is a better side to be, especially when all the side by sides come and the motorcycles, all the dirt's flying. But well, what's going on? Let's see. Oh, we got a little surprise yesterday when we went shopping up in Parker. Uh, first of all, I, it was good to see some uh, uh, with three big chain grocery stores up there to have some meat prices that were respectable. I won't call them great, but prices of food nowadays uh, here in Quartzsite, you got the little local stores and there's just not much of a uh, competitive prices at all. I refuse to pay those prices. and So we go 30 miles up to Parker and uh, got some uh, pork chops for really good, nice pork chops for less than two bucks a pound. Got some nice chicken thighs for under a dollar a pound. What else do we get? Oh, we got some uh, some steaks. They're, they're a thin cut sirloin. I like for uh, sandwiches and stuff. And uh, or they they were priced less than four dollars a pound so you know <laughs> gotta gotta find the deals where we can and we sure found some pretty good deals there we went over to walmart's and was looking for actually a smoker and uh looking to get a gas smoker for out here and and the place is already getting cleaned out from the all these boondockers out here i went for an, first of all i went for antenna parts because I think I got a booster that went bad here. We lost our signal. And the antennas were cleared out. And uh, I asked, where's the antennas? They're over there. What's left? <laughs> That's about it. And then I said, well, I'll go over and look at the smokers. There's no smokers. All they had was those outdoor fryer, uh, what do you call them, uh, griddles for, uh, you know, cooking burgers and peppers and onions and all that those gas griddles and 
Eh, they're pretty heavy, and I don't want one of those. Plus, they get dusty, and, and uh, you got to keep cleaning them. And then uh, I said, well, I'll go over and look at the grills. And they had this one, been in a wet box, marked down to 80 bucks. And I said, well, i got a few minutes to spare. And went and talked to the manager, and he knocked another $10 off it. So, got it for $70. So, a little grill, nothing fancy, but might make a tabletop out of it or or whatever and uh, so uh, there's another project we got lots of projects got to rake these rocks out of here and we got a, a mat there to put down makes it easier to to uh, walk on and whatnot wipe our feet before we get in the house so we got to get a get the antenna going get the grill going never-ending projects around here we got sun coming, so got the van turned around and and uh, getting our panels going this morning. Sun. We'll have uh, full floating batteries by about 11 o'clock. We'll be fully charged. And I uh, we also turned uh, the tiny house a little bit, just about two three feet. Get more morning sun, and we still get afternoon sun on the other side so that's working out great but praise god things are coming together everything takes time and uh yep over next door she's getting her projects done with work in in arizona you gotta go do a test for uh, food handling and get certified for that so she went and did that yesterday and uh She's ready to go to work. She can't wait. Next week she starts. But anyway, well, we'll just thank you all for coming along this morning. There's some more of that beautiful sunrise. It's pretty quiet around here. That's the way we like it. But uh, we're going to, we just thank everybody for coming along and got some more new subscribers. And we just praise God for that and, and letting you all we love you and miss you. I'm glad to see you when you come down here to Quartzsite. And we're going to try to get the sun out just this side. We're going to finish with uh, Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, and 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God of Christ, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We do give thanks for everything. I'm so thankful just to see the sun and sunrise every morning. Such a blessing. Not everybody got to see it today for different reasons. And uh, we thank God for that. It's a start of a wonderful day. And we'll all just let you go. We also pray for God's peace with you and your families. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.